Welcome back to The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky, second chapter, part 83. Why does it feel Starting like it's been forever stages. since we recorded this last? Um, it's been a week. I don't know. I don't know. No. But I kind it of has, agree. It hasn't, the, ac it hasn't actually been any longer than our normal. No. It, the space, like now that the, the plot is starting to ramp up, um, the space between parts feels longer. Because there's, like, high stakes, like, endgame shit happening, and it's like, ooh, it's exciting. Get invested. You know what, I'm willing, I'm willing to go with that. Better explanation than I could have thought of. Did we record early last week? I, I don't actually remember. I don't think so. Because <laughs> that could have also been the explanation. If... Jesus Christ, traitor. <laughs> He waits until right before recording to come right up to the door mm -hmm. and uh, start. <laughs> it sounded like he just puked. <laughs> God damn it, traitor. Oh, traitor. That's badass. <laughs> if you haven't joined our Discord yet, join our Discord. We just added a traitor emoji. We did. It is all of the rage. And if you're new to Gaming Stooges, Landon, or, uh, Trader is Landon's cat. And oh, no. that's Landon. Hi, that's me. Who am I? You'll never know. He's Jack. Go watch part don't, one. Don't tell them. Game. Listen, I gotta spoil something. Landon always spoils our game of the year. True. I get to spoil who you are in our videos. You gotta figure out something to spoil. Oh yeah. Um, now we can go between this station and the first station we opened up. It's fucking... Hologram monorail. Yeah. Hollow rail. Hollow Rail, that's actually... Is that actually what it's called? Something like that, yeah. Oh. It's, its name is in the menus when we, uh... The fact we don't have cool shit like this is a sign that we haven't evolved enough as people. As humans. We don't have a floating city in the sky with Hollow Rail technology. Yeah. For public transit. Exactly. Well, we'll just have to burn it all down and start over again. Anyway, we need to go check back with those freakazoids back at uh, the ship. Freakus and freakazoids. Yeah. That was a freakazoid. That was a that was a cartoon. Jeez, I oh. feel old. Oh, Kingdom Hearts, but replace Riku with freakazoid. <laughs> God. If only. Are we there yet? Uh, almost. Oh. Okay, now we're there. Yeah. Look, it's Josette. What's up, Josette? And Faye? We're not gonna talk to Josette. Oh, okay. That would require me to add her to the party, and I don't want to do that. Damn. There's no way this game is going to make me add her to the party. Smash cut to the end of the episode where I have to come back and add her to the party. Oh, okay. It's Denial to Dorothy. They're hanging out in the front of the ship still. Why aren't they, like, exploring... They they do. They they eventually move. In between each like major event that happens, uh, sh stuff happens. Oh yeah. So remember one of the last parts. I think it was last part. Uh, we got the one. We got the data Z crystal Z. Uh huh. Two. We got that second Zemirian ore. So now, if we come and talk to Professor Russell. Uh, we can use uh, the Zemirian ores, uh, and we can make the ultimate weapon. 
Uh, and since we have two of them, we can make two ultimate weapons. And so we have enough to make two of our choice. Um, so yeah, there's nine different schematics, um, and basically you get to choose which character um, you want to get your the ultimate weapon for. And so I go with um, Estelle and Joshua, since they're mandatory for everything. That's one part of the reason why I have to come back to the ship, is to get the goods. Second reason is we need actually need a gospel. Um, with the uh, name of, uh, of like, a resident. Um, but we have to make one. Um, but we need to know the name of someone already here in order to make one. So if you come talk to uh, the supercomputer over here... This has been working through all of the uh, data fragments we found when we were exploring the towers back in Chapter 7. You only need the number zero, and that's the one the game forces on you. You'll notice the name uh, Celeste. Uh, that is the person who is writing all these. They share the same last name with Chloe. So for this part of the game, we need Chloe in the party. Come back to... Not here. Go over there. This funky building that we were in uh, opening treasure chests earlier. And talk to the computer in the back. This terminal will tell us we have to go talk to the computer in the back. This is like a... This is essentially the DMV for this world. <laughs> um, and we're just going to make our own license. So we have to request a gospel reprint. And then... Um, yeah, it's technically a, a temporary gospel. But that's fine. So you have to select a person in the party. Um, and then you have to select the name of the person. And also, for whatever reason... My controller did not want to scroll through that menu to select D. That's weird. weird. Yeah. Um, so I had to physically like click on it with a mouse. Um, but yeah, if you select the guy's name and uh, Chloe, it'll find a bio uh, like match of 73% and print you a gospel. Sick. Yeah. We got a hand. I don't know why I read spatial... Uh translocation as uh, spinal dislocation. Hell yeah. <laughs> I was spinal like, tap. I was like, wait a minute. Someone's spine got dislocated? Not quite. I broke my back. Spinal. So now we can go to the station... Uh, that we unlocked here, and then we can unlock the Liber Tunnels uh, to the next area of, um, well, the floating city we're on. Are you guys ready for another dungeon crawl? Oh boy. Halo rail. Sure. I was close. Yeah. So you have to physically select the gospel from your inventory. Uh, the game won't let you just select the option when you have the gospel. And I'm like... That's stupid. Come on, game. Just... Once you make the gospel, you technically don't need Chloe in your party anymore. Uh, anyone in the party can, like, use it. You just need the gospel in order to unlock that. But, since Chloe's always in the party, 
Here she is. Uh, you can buy the topaz and emerald gems here, but we're not going to. Because I don't need those ones. They give you the option to buy the gems because, uh, well, one, you can theoretically miss the gems earlier in the game. Um, and two, that way you can kit out all of your people. They just require a lot of septium. The only ones I bother with are the ones that uh, decrease the amount of EP needed and the casting time stuff, I think. Maybe not even that one. There is two new enemies in here, um, but we I won't show off that fight, I think, until the end of the, the tunnel. Similar to the last... Uh, tunnel set, uh, we have uh, like a mandatory fight at the end of the tunnel. Uh, you fight the three main enemies you found in the last one. So the dark lamps, the little face huggers, the wither seeds, and then those uh, like these guys. I forget their name. Little bastards. Little bastards. When in doubt, little bastard. Or, Big Bastard. Or, Little Freak, Big Freak. True. It's a more universal name. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks, game. This one is pretty straightforward. There's this, like, side branch to get that treasure chest. And that's more or less it. I really went out of my way Ooh. to make my life harder well, by fighting everything multiple times. Chloe level up. Olivia level up. But I want the Septium so I can unlock their the last of their slots. If I because I, I, I don't think I have I think I do it after this tunnel uh, is when I actually am able to unlock all their slots. And then, um, also, if to, to buy those gems that I mentioned that I was going to. Cool. Look at all these miniature freaks. Yeah, all sorts of small, little, little tiny baby freaks. It's tiny! It's huge! Another fan favorite emote on our Discord. Yeah. Go join our Discord. A fan favorite emote that has been on our server for, what, two weeks? Yeah. If that. It's a fan favorite by us. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. I think I was reading somewhere, um... All of the chess text is, I think it was actually added when Xseed was doing the localization of the games. It wasn't actually in the original games. Huh. I need to double check the sourcing on that, but... Shoutouts to Xseed. Yeah. I mean, they're the ones who did the... Trails in the Sky games, and then the first two Cold Steel games. Man. NIS America has been uh, working on the rest of the games. Still, though. Exceed. Very cool. Definitely better than mid. I don't know. We haven't seen a re-release of uh, these games on... Modern like, systems. Yeah. True. And also, Cold Steel 1 and 2 have not actually come to the Switch, uh, localized with English, so... Hmm. Damn, never mind. Maybe yeah. Xseed is pretty mid. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they did the localization of these games, but... I, I want them on 
more hardware, please, so more people can play them. And so Landon can have several copies of this game. Yeah. Exactly. I don't... You know what's... I mean, tech... Technically, this game I do own uh, physically on PSP, but it's Japanese. So, I don't know which system is doing better with sales for, like, Trails games. Like, between Switch and, like, PlayStation. But you would think that they would have tried to either, at the very least, re-release, like, the Trails games on that platform. Or the Trails trails of uh, in the Sky, specifically. Or it either it or either even has better, to be like, like make a compilation. It either has to be like a licensing issue or it's a funding issue. Um, because like, why not re-release them? XC doesn't um, publish the games anymore, do they? They don't publish any of the new games. Yes, yeah. but. Uh, it's a matter of if they still, I think, if they still own the licensing for the publishing on the five games I mentioned. Right. Yeah, that's so, what I'm saying, by a licensing yeah. issue. Yeah. Um, I will say this, up Big until freaks. fairly, yeah, these are the two enemies. Uh, we've fought in a variant of the Ebony Scales, and they are weak to, uh, Earth magic, whatever. Um, and they're like... Eh, they're fine. The angular fish here are whatever. They're like baby mooks that you can just pretty much for the most part, one to two shot. Um, so as far as like developing uh, these games, I know that, uh, the head of Falcom has, like, mentioned wanting to bring these games to modern platforms, so it's, like, a possibility, and they did that with, um, the, the Crossbow games, they, they brought those games to PS4, um, but they don't do, like, in-house Switch ports, um, up until, like, I think Yee's 10 is going to be one of the first ones where it might not even be them working on the Switch port. They can only really work... They they only have enough staff uh, to work on one version of the game. And NIS has been the ones who have been like doing the work for the PC and um, Switch ports. Which is also why with the, the Crossbell games, uh, Zero and Azure... Uh, the PS4 version of those games, well, specifically Zero right now, I can't comment on Azure since uh, it's not actually out yet. Um, it'll be out tomorrow in uh, the West uh, from the day that this game released. So I haven't played it as at the time of this recording. Um, but the, the PS4 one, it doesn't have all the, the quality of life improvements that, like, the Switch and PC versions of those games have, uh, because those ones were, like, in-house Falcom releases. I don't know. It's weird. Shit's kind of weird, bro. Yeah. Weird shit it goes on with this fucking series. That's all I can really say. But I enjoy them, so whatever. How much money do you think this dungeon's interior decorator spent on lava lamps? Um, zero D, and that's what upsets me. True, very true. Yeah. Probably like the equivalent of 10 billion um screen cut off yeah, about 10 billion mira but 0d so that's a right. lot for lava lamps yeah but to be fair um some of the food stuff items is like 100 mira so true I was you can gonna buy say. an omelet for eighteen hundred Mira. 
Damn. Better be a really fucking good omelette. <laughs> um... Shit, I forgot what I was gonna say. So sandwiches. So sandwiches. So sandwiches. Let us know in the comments what your favorite kind of sandwich is. Yeah, we always talk about our sandwiches. You we want to hear from you. Your sandwiches. Yeah. yeah. What sandwich are you eating right now? And if you're not eating a sandwich right now, go make one. And then tell <laughs> us what you made. Damn, Jack, you're so bossy. Listen, I want them to enjoy a good sandwich. This isn't for me. This is for them. Siri, order me a sandwich from... From where, Landon? I don't know. <laughs> from your favorite sandwich restaurant. Yeah. The McDonald's. Yeah, order me a, a, a good old bologna sandwich from McDonald's. <laughs> the classic McBologna. <laughs> McBologna. Cloud, how many McBologna's did you ever have to make? McBologna's? Zero. Yeah. Nice. Damn. That's this, not a secret this, menu item. This is no. why America is failing. Yeah. Easy fucking mo money there. McDonald's yeah. make a McBologna sandwich. I have unironically had a customer want to order a McGangbang, though. Gross. What's a McGangbang again? It's a McDouble with a McChicken in between the two meat patties. Oh, that's good, though. Um, I think there was one time that someone tried to do, like, a land, sea, and sky with a McChicken and a fish filet patty in a Big Mac. Jesus. Yeah. For the record, we don't do... We don't make... We don't? I, I I don't know why I said we. I don't work at McDonald's anymore. It's been three no. years. Cloud, it's been three and a half years. Get over it. Get over it. Um, no. Get uh, over it. Uh, so, when I worked at McDonald's, we didn't make stuff based on, like, stupid fan names that people would do. Like, I mean, I never actually made... A McGangbang. But I think I recall making the Land, Sea, and Sky sandwich because they explicitly asked for adding a fish filet patty and adding a McChicken patty into it. Like, if you oh, say, okay. add this, add this, add this, we will add whatever you want. Granted, you're paying for all of it. Sure. But we'll add whatever you want. There was one time someone wanted me, and I made it, to make a double quarter pounder with cheese with two extra quarter pounder patties. So they wanted a full pounder. And I want you to know that this is before they finally made it an official item where, like, the quarter pounder you can get with, like, lettuce and tomato and stuff. So they added those, too. So they had lettuce, tomato. They had four patties. I think they added bacon. Like, that shit almost did not fit in the box. Can I have a fried egg on there and some hash browns? Uh, to be honest... If you go to one of the locations that has breakfast all day, you could theoretically ask that. I mean, maybe not the fried egg part, but... Well, I mean, you would you would ask for egg and they would ask you which kind of egg, but fried egg isn't technically one of them. Because it's weird, like, we they, they used to do... We, so when I worked there, they, they have like this... I don't know if they still do it this way, but in order to make the eggs, there was like this, like, tray of, um... Stop me, by the way, if anything important happening. Um, there'd like a, it'd be like two rows of four rings each, and we would crack the eggs into the rings. So that's how we got them all circular for the sandwiches, is they were just inside of a frame. And then we would lift that frame up, and then we could pull the eggs off of the um, grill. So. I mean, we could... It was, ba it was literally fried egg it was just done it just wasn't called fried egg and it wasn't 
it, it was done within a frame, so, like, it would have a shape to it. But it was still technically fried egg. Oh. Well, then I guess I could make myself the breakfast sandwich of champions. Anyway. Oh my god. We're here. It's the glorious... Well... This isn't our final destination. But this is a destination. Yeah. The movie theater, so we can watch Final Destination. Hmm. Which one? Uh, two. Eh, that's not a bad one. It's not the worst one. It's all these Jaegers are watching, though, so... <laughs> Final Destination 2 has, like, the one death in the entire franchise that actually scares me. Which is the one at the very beginning, where there's a fucking pile-up on the highway. Mm, and, like, yep. the fucking logs roll off yep, the yep. semi. Yep. And I'm like, because that shit happens in real life. That's That that scares me, actually. Oh. Everything else is absurd, but... Um, we cannot move forward... Unless we have Josette in the party. Oh. So remember that time I said smash cut to later in this part where I'm forced to have Josette? No, Landon, I don't remember you saying okay. that. Okay. Well, let's Please remind rewind me. the tape. I, I do remember Smash cut to the this. end of the part. Here we so are. Yeah. Here we are. I have Josette. And of course it's um, stuck with Olivier. Of course I stuck with Olivier. We had to go... Two whole chapters without him. Yeah, come on, Cloud. Let um, me have so this. This whole you section have it. of the game is uh, you cannot leave uh, this area uh, until you finish this part. And you can also not return to this uh, area after you rescue her brothers. So just be mindful of that. Um, because there are two treasure chests, and I will talk about this uh, next part as well, that you can miss out on because of their placement. Uh, because we're not going to rescue... We have, like... We have, like, two minutes left of this video. We're not going to rescue her brothers in this part. I mean, I didn't think so. No. But we have this fight because we've only had one fight before this, so. Yeah. It's been a lot of walking around today. Is this, uh, is this fight hard? No. Is it mandatory? Yeah. Yes. Is it enemies that are old? Yeah. Oh well. We do get to see Josette. She has a gun. Oh, I guess I should explain Josette. Um, yeah. She has, n at this point in the game, uh, no S-Craft. So you'll notice how her like little circle doohickey uh, is not even like red. Yeah. It's uh, broken. It's broken because she doesn't have an S-Craft. Um, she has two crafts, um, one of which uh, debuffs defense to an enemy... And the other one, I think, slows them down. I'll say this. She's, like, level 72 at this point in the game. Um, she's supposed to technically be, like, primarily physical-based. She's, she's more of a fourth wheel. Uh, Joshua, Estelle, and your other party member are going to be doing the heavy lifting. Especially in the boss fights we have coming up. Oh boy. She does, she does have some decent arts that you can spam. Um, she's not going to be doing a whole lot of damage, though. Good battle. Good battle. We win. One group down. Hell yeah. Also, this means that she and Olivier share a weapon type. So... We have uh, two if you, guns. If you get the ultimate weapon uh, from... You can basically technically make two ultimate weapons that are guns, and they both can use them. 
Ooh. So that is something to think about. Nice. Um, all right. We will see you folks next time when we explore the glorious. Bye. Bye.